Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get frame generation for your non-Steam games on your Steam Deck. Recently I did a video about a plugin called Decky Frame Gen. If you're interested in installing frame generation mods for your games easily, okay, check this video out. I'll, I'll leave a link right here. But in that video, I got a lot of comments. People are asking how does it work for your non-Steam games, okay? So this is the video. So let me show you. Let me show you, uh, let me move my camera. So here I'm on my Steam Deck, gaming mode, home screen. So if I press the three dot button, you can see I've got the Decky Frame Gem plugin here. And obviously I've installed the mod. So installing the mod means that you install the, the mod onto your Steam Deck. It's not individually installed for your games. To do that for your games, you need to select your game and patch it. So, but this list is only like pulling out all your Steam games. Okay, so your non-Steam games aren't here. That's why a lot of people have been asking, you know, how does it work for your non-Steam games? Well, it's actually quite easy. Uh, what you need to do, so for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a game called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. This is a non-Steam game that I just installed. haven't even played it. Uh, so if you go to properties, you can see this is just a game that I put on my games directory. Okay, running the EXE. It's a non-Steam game. Compatibility, I'm using Proton Experimental. Okay. So yeah, first thing, obviously, check it out. Make sure it like the game runs the non-Steam game. Not it doesn't. It might not just run. So run it first. So that's what I'm gonna do. So thank you guys for leaving comments. I do read my comments and I try to address uh, if there's any um, confusion or anything like that. I think a lot of people confuse that the Decky Frame Gen. They think that's the mod. Decky Frame Gen is developed as like a front end, it's just an, an, an easy way to install the mod, which is actually DLSS enabler. So it's two different things. DLSS enabler is developed by a one one guy, uh, and he, that that is a lot of different mods put into one. So one of the really cool functions is OptiScaler, which I might talk about later. Um, and Decky Frame Gen is a plugin tool that helps you easily install this mod. Okay, so yeah, they're two different things. Okay, so I've got the game installed, running, and if we go to video, okay, you see here, anti-aliasing, upscaling mode. Okay, so you can see we've got FXAA, TAA, and FSR2. So that's normal because we're playing on the Steam Deck. We don't have an NVIDIA GPU, so we don't have DLSS option. Okay, but we want that because uh, for these mods to work, it needs to enable, like you need to toggle on, it needs to think you're using an NVIDIA GPU so you can toggle on DLSS and then it actually replaces it with FSR 3.1 with frame generation, stuff like that. So you can see we don't have DLSS uh, to choose from, which is normal. Okay, now we're gonna install the mod. Okay, so since we've already got uh, Decky Frame Gen installed and we've installed the mod, uh, we just can't select the game. So what you need to do, go into properties of your non-Steam game and in the launch option, just manually add the, the, the launch option. So what you need to add is the slash home slash deck slash FG mod slash FG mod space percentage command percentage. Oops. All right. So you just need to run this launch options and it's only one time. So just put this launch options, run the game once, and what this does, it, it just um, like installs all those mod files to your game directory. Okay, and once you've done that, launch the game, and you can just remove the launch options and run it again. The game will still have those launch uh, those mod files in the game, so it will still work. So you don't need, you only need the launch options one time, because some people have other mods installed and they need the launch options and they, they think it replaces it, I can't use my mods. Yeah, you, after you've run it once with the this uh, and you've installed the frame generation mod, you can remove the launch options and do whatever you want. You know, the wine DLL overrides, you know, the the, the D input 8.dll stuff, you, you can do that if you have mods. So let's, so let's see if the mod worked. Before we go any further, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check their website using my link below. They sell games at discounted prices, okay? Some games are even up to 90% off, even some newer games. So take a look at this, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, currently at 19% off, okay? It's a brand new game. It's a really cool game. I've actually been playing a bit of it, okay? So they buy their games directly from the game developers, so it cuts out any middleman, and that translates to big savings for you 
you guys. And if you're still wary, they've got a Trustpilot score of 4.7 out of 5. And that's with over 740,000 reviews. So yeah, very trustworthy website. I use them a lot. Uh, I'm actually their official partner. So I do get a little kickback for every purchase you make. Well, that's no additional cost to you, but it does support the channel and it supports me. Thank you guys. Let's get back to our video. Okay. Okay, let's go back into video and then upscaling mode. All right. Yeah, that's right. So you can see here we've got DLSS DLA. That's because the mod's working. The mod's working. So we can select DLSS which in fact translates it to XESS upscaling or FSR3 upscaling. Okay, we can change to quality mode. Ray tracing is... Okay, so, okay, there is a problem because this game, I'm pretty sure this game doesn't support frame generation because you cannot toggle. There's no toggle for frame generation. Uh, so it's probably using DLSS2 or just doesn't support frame generation. And like... For this case, uh, normally it's not good because uh, there's a way to toggle on frame generation and that's using the OptiScaler. So what you need to do is, in order to pull up the OptiScaler, go to controller settings and then uh, enable the back grip buttons and map one of your keys to the keyboard key insert. So I'm going to map the L4 button. Okay, so... For, yeah, see that? See, see the insert key? That pulls up OptiScaler. But but this this is the older version of OptiScaler. It's 0 0.6.7. So you need 0 0.7 OptiScaler that, because that has an option to toggle on frame generation. It might not be good because uh, sometimes it has, if it doesn't have built-in frame generation and you just force it, uh, the UI will flicker around. Uh, there is some fixes, but uh, yeah, it doesn't work all the time. But this is an older version of OptiScaler. So this doesn't work, okay, for this game currently. Uh, you, what you, you need the newer version. You need the newer version. And there is a way to do it. I'll, I'll leave a link for the, like you just need to manually install it, okay? You need to manually install. You can't use Deku Frame Gen right now. Um, that's because, like I said, like I said, the Deku Frame Gen Deki frame gen, let me see if I can show you. Okay, let me move my camera. You can see Deki frame gen, currently it's 0.9.1. Okay, so I remember but they used to have it, like if you manually install Deki frame gen, 0 0.8 version, this one, 0 0.8, the, the one that I manually installed, this version of the mod, maybe I can actually try it out. Maybe I can run this. Okay, let me try running this. Um, yeah, let me try it. I'm going to see if this works. Thank you. I'm going to use the old one. Okay, I'm going to uninstall the mod. So I've uninstalled the mod. And then I'm just going to reinstall it. Because 0 0.8 Deku Frame Gen pulls from a different version of the DLSS enable. Remember I told you they're two different things? Okay, so this version of frame, Deku Frame Gem pulls the different version of the DLSS enable, which is a beta version. And that supports the newer OptiScaler 0.7. So I'm not sure, so I just pulled it. So I'm just gonna run the game again. Hopefully it like installs the newer version of the OptiScaler. Hopefully, hopefully. If not, you just need to manually install it. I've got videos of that, don't worry. Oh yeah, see that? See how that worked? Yeah, see how OptiScale is 0 0.7 right now? Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. It's actually working, cool. So it's actually good to have two versions of Deki frame gen. Because I just replaced the OptiScaler to the newer version which is needed for games that don't natively support frame generation, where you don't have an option to toggle on frame generation in the, in the settings. So this was pretty unexpected. I couldn't even have script, scripted that. Okay, so here, anti-aliasing, we're going to select the LSS first. And then you can see here, okay, so we've got this is different, 0 0.7, you can see here. You can change your upscaling. 
like you can use like it, you can change like the DLSS to X EXS or FSR two, FSR three. Okay, apply, and you can also toggle on frame generation. Let's try that out. Let's toggle on frame generation, and let's try to run the game. Save. Okay, let's start the game. Let's see. I'm not. I'm curious about whether we get the HUD fix, like like if the 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 UI flickers, because when the game doesn't support frame generation natively, and you force it, the the, the UI might flicker a lot. Okay, skip. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you see that? See that the 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 HUD is flickering. Yeah. Let's see. We do. We apply the HUD fix. FG extended. Okay, so once you apply that, that fixes it, and the frames is going up as well. So yeah. So the, yeah, that's how it works, guys. That's how it works for your non-Steam games. Oops. All right. Doesn't matter if I die. I did all I needed to do for this video. So yeah, let me know in the comment sessions if you still have any issues. I'll try my best to help you out. And make sure you subscribe, guys. Make sure you subscribe and like this video so it reaches out to more people. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Later.